next song. You know, one of the great things about writing a song is you can write about anything you want. There's no rules. And when I set out to do my last uh, record, I had this story in mind. A story involved a man by the name of Captain Drake Mason. Now, Captain Drake was a, he was a hero. He did a lot of wonderful things. But something happened in his life that caused him intense distress, intense guilt, very, very deep pain. He was in a tremendous depression. As a matter of fact, he was going mad. And he went back to his town. He was kind of an outcast. And he went to this place where there was this reflecting pool. And Captain Drake stood and stared into this reflecting pool. And the first thing he saw was his reflection. But he stared deeper. The pond was sort of pulling his attention. And he saw, he saw himself and he saw his pain. And he saw all of the experience in his life, experiences in his past that he was holding on to, that was causing him this great pain. And he kept push, pushing this pain into the future by his thoughts. But then he looked deeper into the pond. And what happened was he started to see that his past was really just an illusion of his imagination, that all of these, all of these experiences were things he was holding on to and making his future out of them. And underneath them, there was, not, there was none of that noise and he was creating, he realized he was creating his own identity through everything that had happened in his past. So when he was starting to look deeper into his palms, he started to see underneath the mind noise, and he was, he, he was able to separate himself from the Captain Drake that was stuck in the mind. And what he felt underneath there was a great peace. As a matter of fact, he didn't feel time. There was no time. There was no past, no present. I mean, no future. There was just the present. It was just the now. And that was life. And he felt... He felt this peace come over him, and he, he didn't even feel his body anymore because he didn't have a name then. He was just this pure consciousness that was sort of underneath all his mind. Was. And he found himself sort of almost in this state of complete euphoria, flying through the cosmos, so to speak. Actually, with his attention expanding out into the cosmos. And he started to feel and see all these great, beautiful stars and moons and suns. And he realized that this great peace that he was feeling was actually the one current that was underneath everything that we see. It just was expressing itself differently through all of us. And he saw this one current running through all of us and he realized that. that the biggest mistake we make is we think we're separate from each other. But really, underneath the mind noise, there's only one thing. It's this pure consciousness. And he felt this. And when he came back, he had peace. And whenever he'd look up and see the moon, for some reason the moon with its stillness and its beauty, it just reminded him, it brought him back to the present moment. 
reminded him that he wasn't his boss, and that if he had any freedom at all, if any of us had any freedom at all, it's the freedom to choose to think however we want to think. Because Captain Drake, he had been through all of it. He had been through the worst kinds of prisons, the worst kinds of situations, but he realized that he had the freedom to think anything he wanted in, in any situation. And with any perspective, choose any perspective he wanted from his past. That created his future. So he would feel that when he looked up at the moon, so he wrote a love song to the moon. And it's called The Moon and I.